Hey everyone, hope all is well. Thanks for bringing me into your home. I'm putting together for you the flow we did this week, which is to a theme music week. So it goes along with the pentatonics flow that's on my um, Spotify account. My profile name is Yogi Kates. And so you just go in there and follow that playlist. Turn that bad boy on in your house and flow along to me as I um, walk you through the flow we did this week in class. So take a moment to get set up, roll a mat out in a space in your home that makes sense and feels good. And then take a second to chill on your mat in any way that your body wants to rest. Closing the eyes and feeling the floor beneath you, the way it supports your body, encouraging you to let go of the places that you're gripping and tensing in resistance to how you feel. We're hardwired to respond that way when we feel stressed, when we feel vulnerable, to clench up and to close off to life that flows through us. So see if you can use the pressure of the floor moving into your body to encourage you to let go and breathe past that space of resistance. Feeling the inhales and the exhales move through your body, expand you and soften you. And the purpose of our tradition of doing themed music weeks in class is to get us out of our heads and back into our bodies, to keep connecting to this ultimate vibration that we are by using strong, powerful vibrations of music to help reconnect us to that very essence. And so I told you I fell in love with pentatonics a couple years ago. They were on a show called The Sing Off. And there's just something about these five extraordinary beings, the passion that's inside their hearts that they don't even need an instrument to communicate. And so the vibration is strong of these five extraordinary beings. And it helps us to connect to the vibration that we are and ultimately find one of the most ancient teachings of yoga there present in modern life, that it's within us already. And can we use the next bit of time that we spend together flowing in the privacy of our own homes? Can we use it to help us connect back to this ultimate vibration? To rise above the stress, to see past the fear beneath the doubt. To let the breath move a little bit deeper through you. Blinking the eyes back open. And bringing yourself to a child's pose if you're not already in one. Taking a couple seconds to feel what is present as you shift in through your hips. Take a big breath in, come up onto hands and knees. Take the left leg straight back behind you. Keep the toes glued into the floor. Now we're going to try kind of an alternate balancing sunburn. Take an inhale, reach the right arm up to the sky. Then try threading the needle with the left leg back behind you. Exhale, starting to ring out through the spine. Feel the inhale, pull you back up, really drive back through that left heel, get an extra stretch, moving across Achilles and calf, waking up the body. Exhale, thread. Inhale, pulling it all the way back up, feel the chest open up a little bit. Do it one more time, exhale. Take a big inhale, reach the right arm all the way back up, then go back into child's pose, putting the left knee back down and stretching back, pressing the floor away. Maybe letting the forehead come back down to rest on the mat. Feeling a couple deep breaths here as there's a massage of this space of intuition between the eyebrows. Tune into the vibration inside your body to help remind you that you're making the right choices for you in life, in yoga poses. Come back up to hands and knees, take the right leg back, let's go, thread the needle on the left side, reach the left arm up, then exhale, ring it out. Keep doing it, riding the breath, inhale, maybe you want to move a little slower than me, that's awesome, exhale. Maybe today things are feeling juicy and you want to move a little faster, being free to move in a way that is you. Do about two more. We'll meet in child's pose when it feels right. Nice. When it feels good for you, meet me in downward facing dog. 
Do the things that you like to do when you get into that space. Pedaling heels, maybe rolling forward to plank and coming back to down dog. Now a couple breaths here to move through your body, connect you deeply into right here, right now. Take a breath in, look forward at the space between the hands. On the exhale, bend the knees, squeeze the belly. Try to jump up into the air and lean into your hands and float your feet forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, refold. Let's come to standing, rise and reach the arms, big inhale, lean back if it feels good. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift you halfway up, pull the head away from the butt so the back side of the body start to get open. Then exhale, fold, step back, lower down halfway, moving into our vinyasa. Inhale, lift the chest, back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog, let's get into the right leg, lift it to the sky, big inhale. Step in between the hands, exhale. Back knee goes down. Inhale, reach the arms up. We're going to call this a half camel, a little more organic. Maybe at first, right hand wants to rest to the top of the right thigh. Maybe as we work into our back, left hand stays here on the back for a second. We lean into a lunge that makes sense and feels good in our body. Listening to the hip flexor of the left leg, hamstrings of the right leg, hips and spine, and how it all relates to each other to find a shape that feels good. Not concerned with what it looks like, right? What it feels like. Big inhale. Exhale, hands come down, framing the right foot. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Half split, so start to get hamstrings open. We need that juicy for a powerful handstand practice that we enjoy doing together. Big inhale, breath. Let's try to go to seated twist. So just rebend your right knee. Your knees are already there. Slide the left knee forward behind the right ankle. Drop the butt down, sit tall. Big inhale, right arm reaches. It comes behind you as you hug your left arm into your right knee. Sit tall, start to wring yourself out. Each breath helping you to get a little taller. Inhale, feel the space you're making. Exhale, wring it out. Inhale, come back to center. Untangle your arms, rock and roll. Down onto your back. Come back up, do it again. Start to massage the back side of the body. Then rock up into your tailbone boat pose. You can cross the ankles, you can put the feet down. Arms reaching wherever you feel the most empowered and alive inside your body. Then big inhale, you're going to rock forward. Cross at the shins, up by the knees. You're going to come forward. Maybe you flow, maybe you just plant your hands and you step to down dog. That is awesome and you are enough. Inhale, left leg reaches, get after it on the other side. Step the foot forward, exhale. Back knee goes down, here comes half camel. Maybe as things start to open, the right hand can reach back for the right calf. It's not a requirement. You're listening to what makes your body come alive. Big inhale. Exhale, hands frame the left foot. Inhale, left leg straightens, half splits. Breathing into the strong, stretchy sensation you feel in the back side of the body. Now we go half seated twist. So just bend in the left knee, pull the right knee in, drop the booty down. Inhale, left arm reaches up and back behind you, hugging your left knee and twisting. Sit up tall. Let the exhale help to wring you out. Breathe past the mind of resistance. Twists naturally make us want to contract. They're extreme shapes wringing out the body. Can you soften behind it? Inhale, come back to center. Rock and roll a couple times. Then rock yourself up into boat pose. You're just massaging the back, using the floor like a foam roller coming up and then awakening that sense of core power, tuning into it and helping it to open up your body, get your juices flowing everywhere. Then you're going to cross at the shins. You're going to go forward. Maybe go to down dog. Maybe you flow your way all the way through. Hands will go back. You could just step back and lower down. That counts. You are awesome. Finding downward facing dog. Tune into the breath in and out. We've been through it now once on both sides, so let's make it flow a little bit more fluidly, tuning into changing the vibration in our body. Look forward, bend the knees, squeeze the belly. Try to jump up and pull your knees back into your chest like a tight little A. And then bring your feet forward between your hands. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, reach the arms, feel the body in space. Exhale, forward fold, back down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, flow your way. High plank, low plank, up dog, down dog, whatever's making sense. Eliminating and adding what makes you feel alive right here in the privacy of your home. Right leg lifts. Step it forward, back knee down. Inhale, half camel. Here we go. Reach and lean, feel your body. 
Exhale, hands down. Inhale, half splits. Maybe it opens up into full over time. Slide the knee in, find your seated twist. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, ring it out. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, rock and roll, forward and back. Feel the aliveness that's in your body, the way things are engaging. Rock yourself up into boat. Breathing, taking any variation, playing around with anything that your body's asking for. Then rock yourself and flow. Find your downward facing dog. Go on the left side. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, step it forward. Back knee down. Inhale, half camel. Let it be an expression of what you feel in this exact moment. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, half splits. Rock forward, seated twist. Inhale, grow tall. Hug your left knee. Ring it out. Exhale. Back to center. Inhale. Rock and roll a couple times. And then meet me in bolt. Feeling yourself coming alive with each passing round of the flow. Things opening, slowly letting go of their tension. Flow your way to down dog. Meet you there. We'll go through it one more time together. Look forward between the hands. Remember, jump into a tight little ball. Jump up in the air like cannonball, upside down. And then bring the feet all the way forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. It's practice, right? Do it every day. You'll get it a little bit more and more. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, flow, meeting down dog. Right leg. You know what you're doing. Half camel. Take your time. Ride your breath. Feel it help to open your body. Pause when your body wants you to stay somewhere. You got half splits and a half twist. Flow and then do it on the left leg your own pace. Maybe play around. See if full splits is there today. Who knows? Can you soften behind the mind of resistance? Can you let yourself just open up today? It's just about the vibration that you feel. The light that's within you radiating and communicating with maybe the playlist at home. Maybe other people in the house, kids, dogs. Just seeing that we are all ultimately connected and that we have it all within us. Everything we need to be a really peaceful being because within us, yoga teaches us we already are. Finish up your left leg on the in down dog. But ultimately, we already are this free being. It's in here. We've lost touch with it. And music has a way of helping us connect back, right? Doesn't it calm the fear and quiet the doubt and just let you feel good again and vibe off of amazing sounds? Don't forget your boat. <laughs> Meet me in down dog. Take a couple breaths there. If it needs to be a child's pose or something restful, let it happen. Keep experiencing what's happening from the inside out. The extraordinary way that you are alive inside fireworks. Strong vibrations moving through you. It's like the beat of a drum or the strum of a string. It's powerful. And it's you. Maybe a downward facing dog. We'll build a new pattern, a new flow to play with. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. You're going to look forward at the space between your hands. You just keep practicing jumping. So jump up in the air, squeeze the belly, pull the knees into the chest. And then see if you can lean your body weight more into the pads of the fingers. See if you land with a little bit more lightness. Halfway up. Exhale. Fold this time. Bend the knees. Find chair pose. Arms are reaching anywhere where you feel really good. Softening what you notice you need to to feel more at ease. Engaging and pressing into what you need to to find more stability. You know it. Because that part's within you. Intuition and trust. Awakening it here on your mat. Hands to your heart. We're going to twist. Exhale to your right. Hook your left elbow outside of your right knee. Keep pressing into your feet. Keep letting yourself open up if it's there for you. If you want to go further, let's go on a bird of paradise adventure. Right arm's going to reach to the sky. Left hand will go down. If this is where you feel at an edge, stay here and see if you can soften by checking back into your breath. If things are feeling good, go further. Left hand goes in between your legs. Spin your palm away from you. So you rotate the arm bone, set yourself up for success to bind. Left hand to the outside of the butt cheek. Right hand reaches and catches it. Maybe you hang here. This is enough and so are you. Press into the right foot. Let the vibration move you. Maybe it helps you stand up a little bit. If as you stand up, something happens and lets go, stay upright. Keep trusting yourself. Take a hold of your left hand to your left knee. Anatomically opening the exact same things as a bird of paradise. 
anatomically strengthening the same things, being okay with what manifests each day for you, seeing it as just patterns of energy, movements of vibration. See if you can keep your hands up, so if you're still in your bird state here, if you're holding onto your knee, we're all ultimately going to meet in the same place. Leg stays up, hands come to heart. Big breath in, grow tall. Re-engage the belly. That's it. Kick it back, warrior three. Legs reaching back. See if you can keep hips square towards the floor. That's going to open up more across the hamstrings of the right leg and help you feel a little more stable. Breathe in. Hands are going to go down onto the floor. You get some time to practice your press up. So you're going to pull your left knee in like a dog on a fire hydrant and pull it out to the side to re-engage your core. Lean your body weight into your hands. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. See your feet can come up. Maybe it's just a little bit of a moment. And that's all you need to keep practicing and coming alive to that space within yourself. Remember that it does change. Flow, meet me in down dog. It does change with repetition, so be easy on yourself. Know that it will come. When you get there, down dog, right leg lifts. Exhale, right foot forward, back foot flat. Come up and find a warrior two in your space, reaching your arms forward and backwards, feeling a long line of energy moving up through your spine. Ground it into your feet. There's this vibration that comes up from Mother Earth, this strong grounded fire that starts to get open up as you clean out these lower channels in your body of grounded creative power. Take a big inhale, let's go to side angle pose. You can lean back if you want to. That'll open up the space. Try to keep it long as you drop right forearm to right knee. Left arm anywhere that feels good in your body for your unique snowflake. <laughs> the right hand could go deeper, things could expand and go any other place that's really feeling good to you in this moment, honoring your body. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Hands go down, slow your way to down dog. We'll do side angle on the other side. Continuing to open. Left leg lifts. Step it forward. Sorry, you're getting my backside. You're coming up warrior two. And then maybe use a reverse warrior on your way into side angle. Left forearm down, left arm, and, or right arm anywhere. Breathing and seeing if you can roll back and open up a little bit more across the chest and spiral the belly. Breathe in. Exhale, hands down, flow, meet me in down dog. We'll go after bird of paradise on the other side. Connect back to the breath. Things start to get saucy. You're opening up stronger into more major muscles, peeling apart open more joints, continuing to access this fire that you are, helping it to shine a little bit brighter inside of you to connect you back to that vibration which you are. Look forward. You're going to jump up, squeeze the knees in, lean. See if you can hover, put the feet down. Halfway up, inhale. Exhale, full bend the knees, chair pose, other side, arms anywhere, hands to heart, exhale, twist to your left, hook your right elbow outside of your knee, press into your hands and your feet, engage your belly and try to find lightness, go deeper if it feels good, reaching the left arm up, the right arm down, binding maybe, right hand between the legs, who knows, if it's feeling good, go for it, if it doesn't, breathe where you are, it's where you're meant to be, rising up, maybe finding bird of paradise, a couple deep breaths to make your back not... Feel so strongly contracted, squeeze your belly to soften that. To maybe take the leg to straight, you gotta relax the hamstring, so you gotta engage your quad. Lift up on your kneecap a little bit, breath in. Then see if you can come hands to heart, right leg will float. Nailed it, exhale, warrior three, kick it back. Breathing, pressing, lengthening, take a big breath in. Hands are gonna go down on the floor, right leg's coming up. Think of a dog on a fire hydrant, leg comes up and in. Towards the armpit, out to the side. Lean, 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 squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Maybe things pick up and then take it back. Flow your way or go in side angle, right and left leg. Move through it at your own pace. Notice the way intuitively your body rides on the breath. Things feel natural, instinctive. Within you, there's an inner teacher, an inner guide. And I'm just here to help you reawaken to that which you already are. Why is open and free? Step it back, slow. Do side angle on the left side. Me and down dog when we're done. Breath in. Breath out. I'm still here with you, connected. I feel your vibration from home. I feel it in my home. Empowering me, motivating me, reminding me that we are all one and all worthy. Come down onto your knees, then drop down onto your forearms. We're going to do some crunches upside down. Bring your hands together, find a setup for your headstand, head on the floor. I want you to think about have happy baby before we go upside down. 
So before you take it all the way up, curl the toes, lift the knees, find down dog. Then just pull one knee in towards your triceps, towards your armpit. Keep squeezing the belly, just pull the other one in. Now keep your legs in like you're in a happy baby. Take the feet a little bit up towards the sky. Squeeze the belly, pull the knees back in, contracting and just doing some crunches upside down. Sometimes a change of perspective is what we need. This is allowing us to access a deep low belly, the space where our energetic lock is living to help us float upside down with a little bit more grace and lightness. See if you can do about eight more. It's all right, if you fall out, you've got the space to do it, to practice, to explore, to try. The important thing is, is that we take some tenderness with ourselves, right? The important part is not falling over, it's getting back up, and yoga is trying to make us see this by helping us to connect back in with the vehicle of our breath, back into our essence. When you're done crunching, find a child's pose for a little bit to lengthen out what you just compressed in the upper spine. The compression is beautiful because it squeezes out the discs in there to bring back hydration and suppleness to your back. A couple deep breaths. There's bound to be a strong vibration. Tuning into it, feeling it, and letting the breath help it to expand. Ultimately, when it makes sense for you, meeting back and downward facing dog, I'll guide you through one more flow and then we'll chill. Take a big inhale breath, reach the right leg to the sky. It starts with a knee tap. Exhale, right knee pulls to the right tricep. Staying here, pull the knee across the body, kick it out onto the floor. Spin your left foot to flat. This is rock star. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale, left hand's going to go down. Strengthen your core, pulls the right leg back up and to the sky. Now it steps forward. Exhale. Spin the back foot to flat. I call this arrow. Keep everything straight. Start to inhale and rise, pressing into both feet. Keep the hips square to the front of the room. The chest square. Take the arms up overhead. Join the fingers together like the sharp tip of an arrow. Lean back and feel your body ready to go wherever your heart leads you. Then exhale. Bend the right knee. If it feels good, lift up on the left heel. Exhale. Right hand reaches back. Left arm reaches forward. This is an open arm twist. Intensifying our twisting. Take the right hand and lower it to the left thigh. Inhale. Lean back. That's a twisted reverse warrior and it feels way different. Keep seeing if you can soften behind the knee to resist. Then exhale, turn around to the back of your mat. Swivel through your hips. Bend your left knee. Take your arms out. There's warrior two on the other side. Inhale, lean back and reverse. We're going for half moon. Exhale, left hand's going to go down. Everything else is going to lift. Right leg's going to come off. Keeping yourself grounded, strong in the belly. Take your time to build it. Opening the hip out to the side, the thigh, maybe arm goes up. Big inhale. Let's try a little flow here. Exhale, right hand goes down. Pull the right knee bent into the back of the left knee as you bend the left knee. It's a curtsy. You can make it a twist by reaching the left hand up to the sky, intensifying it. And then exhale, switch. Left hand goes down. Inhale, blow back up into half moon, right arm reaching. Try that again. Exhale, right hand down. Bend into both knees. Pull the right one in. We're feeling IT band, piriformis, all this outer stuff that needs to be open. Now stay here. Let's get grounded on both feet. Put the right toes on the floor. Pick your body weight up. So you still got that curtsy shape and that bend and that engagement and that strengthening. But now finding a more energetic experience as you lift yourself up. Right, big breath in. And then as you exhale, shift your body weight out of your left foot into your right foot. You're going for eagles. You pick your left leg up, wrapping it around. Oh, baby. Hands are anywhere that makes sense. Soften what feels good. Breath in. Breath out. Chance to play with handstand. You're going to step your left foot back into the center of your mat. Kick your right leg up to the sky. You're going to find standing splits. A couple breaths. Maybe this can be where you play. So here's a suggestion before you start trying handstand for today. Forever we think the approach of let me kick up in the air and hope that something catches me and stops me. That's never going to help us find our power that's in there that makes this possible. So here's what I want you to think about. Keep your legs stationary in their standing splits. And then engage everything. Get the leg muscles strong, get the belly strong. Instead of flinging and flailing, can you lock it all into place? Can you bend into the left knee and use this pull of your belly to help you jump up into the air? So you might see that you're moving maybe a little slower, less frantic than when you fling, fling legs all around. Try like one more. 
Just building up to it. Little bend, everything engaged, strong, up you go. A little bit of light hop. Yeah, then step back, see what happens, flow, find down dog. And it will keep changing and evolving. Go to the other side, left leg lifts. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Pull it across the body, kick it out, rock star, up you go, inhale. Exhale, hand down, strengthen that belly. Inhale, leg pulls up and out. Exhale, step your foot forward, back foot flat, arrow. Maybe it feels good with really wide legs like you're on a railroad track because your body feels good that way, that's what you do. Hands go up, make the tip, lean back. Exhale, you're gonna bend left knee, left hand reaches back, maybe the right heel wants to pop up, open arm twist. Inhale, twisted, reverse, lean back. Exhale, open it up. Warrior two, spin around. Sorry, my mat got stuck. Take a big inhale, lean it back. Exhale, half moon, right hand down. Standing on this right foot. Maybe you just hang out here. Maybe triangle calls your name. Otherwise, you're lifting the back leg, getting long through the spine, feeling this extension of your heart, reaching all the way out, tips of fingers, strong vibration, tips of toes. Go curtsy, exhale. Maybe a twist as the arm reaches up. Switch it, right hand down, inhale. Blowing back up into your half moon. Then exhale, curtsy. Nice. Ground the toes, find a grounded curtsy rising up. Breathe, breathe and let things soften. Shift the body weight into the left foot. Wrap the right leg, eagle. Breathe in, step back onto your mat, standing splits. Left leg goes up, hang out for a little bit. Do what feels good. If you're gonna play with handstand at home, trust yourself, right? We work on this every week. We know it's in here. And we know ultimately it's an exercise to help us remove the fear first so that we go after all those things and manifest the life we want. Keep the legs stationary. Don't worry about flinging them. Handstand comes from the strength of the core. Everything engaged from there to shoulders. So get that working for you first. Then see what happens as you jump from that space. There might be some moments of hanging out upside down a little bit longer because you're keeping those things engaged. You might be able to find it. Taking some time and then flowing ultimately will meet in downward facing dog. And we'll go for it again, both sides, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee tap. Pull it across, inhale, here you go, rock star. Exhale, hands down. Just ride the breath. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, foot plants. Here comes arrow. Come on up. Go after what you want. Follow your heart to get there. Exhale, open arm twist. Right arm back. Inhale, twisted, reverse. Lean and open. Exhale, rear two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, half moon. Get back. You can see me. Finding the space to work through curtsy. Once or twice. Inhale, half moon. It's amazing differences between closed and open, between light and dark, between hard and soft. All of these things that you are. And yoga has been trying to tell us forever that you need both because you are both so you can be your fullest essence. That they're not, in, in fact, go to ego. That they're not opposites that are needed for each other, that they are complementary forces. They give rise and support and balance and ultimately bring each other into union. Standing splits, left foot down, right leg up. Couple breaths. <sighs> Calming the nervous system response to all the challenging poses that just came in succession so that you can now get back and focus in the game and try jumping up and finding the tipping point for your handstand. Just keep arms as straight as makes sense and see if you can keep the belly strong and engaged. Just do a couple. The goal is not to master something. It's to find a new sense of awareness for what works with your body to help you find your power. Ultimately flow. <laughs> Keep doing that. Find downward facing dog. We'll go after it again more time. Left leg lifts. Inhale. Exhale. New tricep across the body. Rock star. Big old breath. Feel your vibration, baby. Exhale. Hands down. Inhale. Leg out. Stepping forward, exhale, coming up, arrow, big breath in. Exhale, ring it out, left arm back. Inhale, twisted reverse. Exhale, explode open, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Yes, exhale, half moon. Finding that very space where you are alive. Exhale, curtsy. Inhale, half moon. 
Exhale, curtsy. Stay here, ground the toes, lift up. Re-energize your experience. Find all of that within you that excites you. Eagle. You got it. Standing split. Step on the mat. Keep the leg up. Find it. Feel it. Be present to it. Play around if it's making sense. It's normal to be tired. Right? You do a lot muscularly in your body. Things become fatigued. It's new layers of strength that are emerging within yourself. Flowing and meeting in downward facing dog. Then dropping to your knees. Rising up and finding seated meditation. Close the eyes. Maybe a hand to the heart, one to the belly. And trusting that even as far away as you are in your home today that you feel it. As everything quiets and settles, there's the vibration of your radiance rising up and surging through you, replenishing and restoring you. A couple more breaths to feel it even deeper. the eyes open. Drop onto your sweet booty. Bring your legs out in front. Roll all the way down onto your back. Let's take a deep juicy back bend and then we'll rest. Bridge your wheel your choice unless you want to do like a camel or something different that feels good for your lower lumbar and your sacrum. That sweet spot right above your booty. Feet down. Hands can go by the side for bridge or they can go alongside the ears for wheel and then your knees and your elbows look the same both pointing up towards the ceiling. And you press into hands and feet. If you're coming up, you're bringing booty up off the floor. If you're going wheel, you're lifting up a little higher. See if you can hold it for 15 breaths. In and out, I'm here with you. We are connected. Feeling a strong vibration as all seven of your chakras, your little energy wheels, are getting spun profoundly. That's helping the vibration be felt even stronger. Bringing a deeper sense of balance and connection and juicy openness into your body, your mind, your heart. Do you feel it? Keep breathing. If you're all the way up and wheel chin to chest and slowly lowering all the way back down until you feel that floor just wrap its arms around you and embrace you resting for a moment feeling the vibration still strongly surging from within use pentatonics this week to remind us that ancient teaching of yoga that it's within us that we don't need instruments, we don't need outside forces. We need to look within again. We will find it. That strong vibration, that power, that lightness, that freedom that is already here. Eventually sit back up. Legs out in front, we'll stretch out with a nice deep connective tissue release, a pose known as deer. Take the right shin, bring it kind of parallel to the front of the mat, the heels away from your midsection. Lean into the right side of your body and then bring your left leg back behind you. Rest on the inside of that knee, the big toe side of that foot, adjusting where you need leg bones to be so that you feel comfortable. It's all right if one of the butt cheeks is flying high up off the floor. Our legs have a tendency to either favor being internally rotated or externally rotated. And so if a leg's flying up, it's just you're probably more inclined to be externally rotated. If that back hips drop down, then you probably have more naturally internally rotated hips, so that back leg feels more natural. And it's all just the luck of the bones you got when somebody put you together. And so just loving and embracing that which you were created. And allowing that to help you stir up this vibration. Eventually you're folding forward, 
You might not get very far. It's not about what it looks like. It's about am I feeling a nice strong release in the outside of my right hip and butt? Is there some sensation maybe happening in the back left leg that's letting me know that things are stretching, getting pressure to help them release? And then folding it as deep as your body lets you go and trying to soften there. We're accessing now as we become passive in our body the webbing of connective tissue, the ligaments and the tendons that hold together our hips. It's awesome to focus on the muscles, the muscles that encompass them and surround them, but what about the things holding them together? That creates a strong vibration, one way stronger and more longer lasting than surface muscle. So we got to get in there. If we're going to find this freedom and tune into this really strong vibration that we already are, we have to go in deeper. It's one thing to look within, but it's one thing to look within and to stay. What we would you uncover if you stayed? See if you can soften here, breathe. Let it take some time, be here for a little bit, settling in deeper to connective tissue to open up, to ultimately become free. What would you gain if you stayed? Keep breathing and choosing to stay. Settle into the vibration that you feel, just this extraordinary symphony inside your body. Keep breathing. Slowly start to walk yourself back up. The deeper we go, the more we open and uncover. And then sometimes there's a response of maybe stiffness and an urge to move a lot slower. So just breathing and allowing all of those things to be felt. Eventually, maybe some soft windshield wiping of knees. This is allowing us to open up deeply into the joint of the hip itself by accessing the connective tissues that hold it together. Sometime soon, let the left shin come in front, right heel tuck back behind. And so by accessing these legs in different rotations for a long period of time, we are cleaning out essentially this ball and socket joint, getting out the air pockets, helping to bring back hydration, bring back more fluid, and helping to lubricate the joint. When you feel ready, fold forward, 
Take as much time as you need. We're going to be here for a little bit, so we can take some time. It's all right. Folding in as much as is here for you. That's where you need to be and just being there. Breathing there. Not judging or labeling, just feeling this strong vibration that you are. Connected to the glory of everything that's around you. Feeling deeply tuned in to the things in your home right now. And the things outside of it, the people, the beings, everything. Feeling it all fill you up. Restore and re-energize you. Keep breathing. Still here with you, vibrating in my home as I feel you connected to you in your home. And sending my love and kindness towards you as I feel yours coming back. So that we can all ultimately live the life of our dreams and be free. Take your time and slowly walk yourself up. Lying down onto your back to set yourself up for a period of rest. Now let you rest here for as long as makes sense, as long as your life will allow you to right now. Remembering to continue to tune in within yourself whenever you lose touch with that vibration, that ultimate higher essence of who you are. That you're not the drama of your life, you're not the stresses that you're going through, the words people say, but you are the person inside, the one who sees it all playing out before you. And that person in there is already free. And we use this ancient practice of yoga and these more modern day poses and things to help us tune back in to that being who is free. To so lay and rest here in this strong vibration for as long as time allows you. Tune back in to you. With love and respect, namaste.